Hi everyone, so let's talk about upgraders come on device of string. So you're given s and t, so say that t can divide by s only e. s equal to t plus t plus t, right? So uh, you're given two, uh, two strings, and you have to return a larger string x, such that x can divide by both strings, both strings, right? So uh, here's a quick play solution. So if the string 1 and string 2, if you plus together, does not equal uh, if let x equal to string 2 plus uh, string 2 plus string 1, then you can continue uh, doing the work. If they are not the same, you are going to return, uh, return empty string. So this is basically the first solution. So, I mean, um, first step of the solution. So you have to compare if they are actually equal. So which means this one and this one are actually equal, right? So we have to find out the greatest common divisors based on the uh, Based on this, right? So, uh, if you don't know what is greatest common divisor, so you can actually go to this website, and then, uh, the explanation is pretty good. So you just have to keep find out the 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 length of the greatest common divisor for both strings. So you are giving a uh, passing to input, and then you just keep uh, dividing. I mean, modding, right? Uh, just keep mod, and then if they are actually equal to zero, then you just return. Uh, on one, right? So I'm gonna just copy and paste just in case I like, don't know what happened. So uh, again, we, when we find out the length, right, then we can actually uh, return the the length of the GCD in string two because string two is always shorter than string one, right? And if they are not equal, definitely return empty string. So uh, here's it. So public GCD, right? So this is GCD. So I'm going to pass in GCD function, right? All right, and then this is some GCD, all right? So uh, again, so let's just compare. So if they are not equal, so string one plus string two, string one plus string two, so it's not equal to string two plus string one, right? You will return empty string, right? Then if you do, if you do, uh, if they are the same, right, you have to find out, find out the length. So it's on GCD based on the string 1.length and string 2.length, right? And then now we know the length of the GCD, so we can actually find out. So here, so here is it. So GCD 6 and 3, so uh, GCD calculation. So I'm going to pass in, pass in the 6 and 3, and then you actually what? 6 and 3, and then you get 3, right? So, okay, if you're not believing, so this, this is 6, this is 4, right? 6 and 4, this is 2, right? Exactly, so you will just return what? String 2 dot substring based on from 0 to GCP. And this is pretty much the solution, so um, just use a little bit uh, strategy to solve this question. So uh, this is going to be pretty much the solution. So the time and space for this one, you have to add the two strings together to create another string inside the library. So I would say this one is going to be all of string 1 plus string 2 for the time. And then GCD, uh, G GCD uh, time implementation is going to be shorter than this, so let's not worry about this. So, so unrepresent the uh, length of the string 1 and string 2. How about the space? So, for the space, it actually looks like constant, but this is creating another space. So, it's still going to be all of un and unrepresent the string 1 plus string 2. So, this is a footnote for time and space. And this is a solution, and I will see you next time. Bye.